Alright. Basically, this is going to just be a little mini review. That light. Nope, wrong way. That light over there. Which was uh, about 15 bucks. I didn't get the second light I was supposed to get. And in place, I got a sniper scope. Got, I got both of these things from Bark Hunt. The softbox and the little mic stand. That's one of my Rode Micro. A review on the mic too, even though the mic stand doesn't contribute to the, the audio quality that much. But you can at least see it in action. Uh, it was, I was going to use a more fitting mic, but the one... Well, both of them didn't fit. I was going to use the tax art originally, because apparently that one wasn't reviewed maybe correctly. I'm not an expert at audio and lighting. Uh, I just have some general knowledge. All together, this is about a hundred dollar setup, and then I'm as a as a mic reference compared to that one. This one you do the uh, road lava clear. My aperture light right there, <laughs> which was uh, about a hundred dollars by itself, and then if you include the lava mirror lavalier mic on me, that's about a hundred dollars. So two hundred dollars, and then about one hundred dollars. So there's some there's some pluses and minuses. The main plus to this is that it it you know uh, spreads the light in a very natural way, in that it was super cheap. Um, a minus is that you can't really turn down the temperature, and you can't put a filter over it. And the light switch um, is on a plug, and so you can't like put batteries in it to take it, make it like a portable situation. So yeah, that was about 15 bucks, and the mic stand was about 15 bucks. I've never had a mic stand, so I really can't do any references. Um, the main downside is that the mount doesn't fit most of my mounts, but you could probably get an adapter for that, so not a biggie. And then this light right here which is about $100 from Aperture, really famous uh, light company. You can adjust the temperature, you can charge the batteries as you're plugging in, or you know, just have it unplugged on batteries. It uses a common Sony battery. But you can switch it out with the one that matches, matches like my softbox, more inside feel. Why am I not able to get this in? Ugh. And you can adjust the the intensity. That's the highest intensity. It wasn't the lowest. You've seen both lights on. Let's just see how. If I turned this one off, what it look like? And if I turned this one off, what it look like? Uh, old light first. The one that costs a lot, which is super freaking bright. This has been on for a while. And it's getting a little bit of heat, but nothing too scary. But you know, with that light off, it still looks looks all right. Looks pretty fresh. Now let's see with the expensive light on, and then the not so expensive light off. It's all right, but it's super super sharp because it doesn't have that softbox situation. I really need a softbox. I've been wanting to get a softbox for the Aperture, but. Even the softbox situation is pretty expensive. So it's something I've been kind of having to postpone for a while. Uh, they both obviously have their positives and negatives. Once I get a softbox on this, I'm sure it will be better than that. But this was so much quicker and easier to get because it was 15, 20 bucks, you know? It's like, oh yeah, I'll just get that for temporary. And you know, you could get like, five of them for the price of that more expensive light, you know? Now, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I, this is just gonna be a, sh a quick show, but I did get a, uh, like a sniper rifle scope with this, uh, with this light, because I didn't get a second light, I'm guessing. Uh, probably gonna use it, try to rig it to my DSLR when I finally get one, but yeah. This is the scope from Simons. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It kind of looks like a binoculars. 
you know? I was for a second I trying to take off the lens, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that easy. You ever just get excited about hearing like a little spring noise? Like you don't feel it, but you hear it and it's just weird. Hey everyone, it is the morning of my procedure. I'm literally 30 minutes away from going to the orthopedic office to get my nerves burned off. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna record. I am uh, recording a time lapse of, uh, well really this, this section, this area, that you probably already saw a little bit before now. Uh, I've been told that I will be in more pain before less. Alright, let's get to some nerve burning stuff. Alright, let's do it. Had the procedure. JC just picked me up after work. Oh, uh, left and right, two shoulder areas. They're kind of numb, me, painy kind of thing. Yeah, I just decided to talk about my nine to five job and filmmaking a bunch with them. And uh, about the time that I was done and got back into my little waiting area room, and JC came in there and just started kind of crying because thanks for watching don't forget to smash that bell like on anything you have to say Jason. ready for bed ready for bed
thanks for watching. Um, the next video, I should be possibly still getting equipment from uh, that Trent guy. And, uh, maybe a music video? Maybe you'll get some of that wedding that I, that I can charge for anymore? Who knows? But, uh, regardless, you made it this far. Thanks. Uh, it'd be awesome if you smash that bell icon. And, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, either what the, otherwise, uh, I'll see you on the, uh, next fantastic video. That's all I got for you guys. Peace.